Hello, and welcome to the Action Network's coverage of the 2023 Belmont Stakes presented by Twin Spires. I'm Sean Zarillo, joined today by Mike Conti and Mike Samich to get their favorite exotic bets for this weekend's Belmont Stakes. And if you're ready to get in on the action for Belmont Stakes weekend, make sure you do it at the Premier Horse Racing book, Twin Spires, where action users can use the code Action Racing and get up to $400 in bonus bets. It's that easy. Head over to Twin Spires, use the code Action Racing, and you'll be granted up to $400 in bonus bets. Talking favorite exotic bets for the 2023 Belmont Stakes, the 155th running, 50th anniversary since Secretariat's record-setting performance. Maybe a very competitive edition of the Belmont Stakes as well. Good betting race, much better than the Preakness Stakes we had a couple of weeks ago. And I think there's a lot of ways that you can go about building your tickets for this weekend's race. We talked our favorite long shots, top win contenders, et cetera, thoroughly on the Action Network podcast but we're going to summarize the guys' favorite exotic bets. As of midweek here, they may change their mind closer to Saturday. But Mike Conti, going to start with you first. Any exotic tickets that you're definitely planning on playing for this nine-horse Belmont field? Yeah, I, Sean, you know, I you, you mentioned it, but there's a horse in here that I really like. The number three Archangelo at eight to one. Well, I'm going to single on top of a Superfecta. And then underneath, I will be using number four, National Treasure, number six, Forte, number seven, Hit Show, and number eight, Angel of Empire. And then the other exotic that I'll be playing in the Belmont is I'm just going to play an ice cold exacta, number three, Archangelo, over number six, Forte. Mike Samich, uh, you know, you talk a lot about structure and betting opinions correctly, expressing your opinions correctly and properly, because that is how you need to go about winning money you know, and, and betting your opinions appropriately. So how are you structuring your tickets for this race? I know you're going to go thin on top and then probably spread a bit more as you get lower. Yeah, I'm going to play two superfectas right now that I, I definitely have mapped out. The first one for me, I'm putting Forte on top here in the Belmont. He, he's done absolutely nothing wrong. It's a horse that loves to win. I picked Mage in the Derby because of that Florida Derby. I think that was the best prep race we saw leading into this. I think Fort Bragg also validated that, running so well at Churchill Downs over Derby weekend. So I'm going to put Forte on top here. I agree with Conti here. I like Archangelo. I think that's a price you got to be using. Same with Hit Show. And I'm going to include Angel of Empire underneath. So I'm going to play the six over the three, seven, eight, three, seven, eight, three, seven, eight, superfecta. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to play a superfecta with just Archangelo and Forte in those first two spots. So three, six with three, six. And I'll play that with four, seven, eight with four, seven, eight. I will play the first one for five bucks. So it'll cost you $30. I'll play back the second for probably about a dollar or two. So less weighted with the three on top, but it still offers the value if it does end up running three, six instead of six, three, which I do agree is probably the most likely uh, scenario here. And then I'm going to just drop the hammer on a late pick four. Uh, I, I don't love dropping the hammer on favorite pick fours, but on a day like Belmont day, and, and specifically because I do like Forte on top, I love Spirit of St. Louis in the final race of the day. You've got Cody's Wish in the 10th race that kicks it off, and then up to the mark, who is going to be sandwiched in between there in the 11th race. I think all four are highly likely winners. And if you're willing to just go ice cold, there is still some value there. So starting in race 10, give me a $25 pick four, one with eight, with six, with one. Let's see if we can knock four of them out in a row. That'd be a heck of a payout on the quad single. Thank you both so much for joining me to discuss your favorite exotic bets. And in Mike Samich's case, favorite horizontal for Belmont Stakes weekend. Hope you enjoyed our horse racing content. You can find more of it on actionnetwork.com. You can find Mike Samich's work over at Racing Dudes. Thank you for joining us. Best of luck this weekend.